Hey guys, from missing nuclear bombs to unexplained disappearances, join me for today's video. We're going to take a look at 15 unsolved aviation mysteries. Number 15, the missing nukes. While the idea that there are a set of active nuclear bombs at large may sound terrifying, this is unfortunately the case thanks to a Cold War era aviation mystery. You see, on March 10, 1956, a Boeing B-47 Stratojet with two different capsules of nuclear weapons material was making a flight from Florida to Morocco. However, while near the Strait of Gibraltar, the plane made its last radio call, and despite there being other planes near, it simply disappeared without anyone realizing. While reports of explosions from the ground seem to suggest that it went down near a city in North Africa, not a single piece of the wreckage has ever been found. And to this day, both the plane and its dangerous payload is likely sitting at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. Number 14. The Disappearing Douglas on July 21, 1951, a Douglas C-54 Skymaster took off from Alaska en route to Montana. While this should have been a perfectly normal flight, the plane simply stopped sending out radio calls two hours into the journey. While it is believed that poor weather conditions brought upon by heavy rain and ice likely brought down the plane, a joint U.S. and Canadian rescue team was not able to find it. And to this day, the fate of the plane and the 44 unfortunate souls who were on board remains a mystery. Number 13. The Villa du Paris Balloon While there are many aviation mysteries that happened in the 20th and 21st centuries, the event that holds the distinction of potentially being the very first aviation mystery to occur happened all the way back in 1856. To give some context, the aircraft in question was first flown by famous French pilot Eugene Goddard, and while it was known as the Ville du Paris, or City of Paris in English, he generally flew it while in Cuba. He then sold it to a certain Matthias Perez on June 29th of 1856, and he went for a flight, setting off from Havana, Cuba. However, after disappearing beyond the horizon, he was never seen again, and even after an extensive search was carried out, nobody ever found either his vehicle or the body. Number 12. The Star Tiger in the wake of World War II, Britain had both fighter pilots surplus and a very limited connection to South America, and as a result, British South American Airways came into being. Built in order to provide service on previously untapped routes to South America, the company created several trade and passenger flights, and one of the planes that routinely flew under this company's ranks was the Star Tiger. An Avro Tudor IV passenger aircraft, the plane took off from the Azores on way to Bermuda. At 700 kilometers northeast of Bermuda, the plane simply disappeared into the Atlantic Ocean. While the U.S. Air Force commissioned 26 aircraft for a five-day rescue mission, the search was in vain, and to this day, nobody knows exactly why the plane crashed into the ocean. Number 11. Flying Tiger Line Flight 739 Throughout the Vietnam War, the United States was constantly sending planes to Southeast Asia, and while most got there without crashing, Flying Tiger Line Flight 739 never got there at all. See, the plane was scheduled to transport 93 U.S. soldiers and three South Vietnamese from Travis Air Force Base in California to Saigon, Vietnam, with a restop fuel to be completed in Guam. While the plane successfully made it to Guam, it disappeared 80 minutes into the second leg to Vietnam without a trace. And while this prompted one of the largest air and sea searches in the history of the Pacific, U.S. military personnel were unable to locate the plane. However, there is one explanation that just may explain the disappearance. You see, a civilian tanker observed what appeared to be an in-flight explosion while sailing through the Pacific, and records seem to indicate that this explosion came from Flight 739. However, the reason why this explosion occurred is up for debate, and many believe that the explosion was an act of sabotage by the North Vietnamese. However, until part of the plane is found, it will likely be impossible to be 100% sure. Number 10. Stardust While most distressed pilots will send out messages as a cry for help, RAF pilot Captain Reginald Cook led a signal out of his plane that was unlike any other. The story goes that on August 2nd of 1947, Captain Cook was flying his BSSA Avro Lancastrian airliner from Santiago to Buenos Aires when he signaled to the Buenos Aires airport that he was ready to approach. However, this signal was quickly replaced with the message Stendek. Since this didn't match any known Morse code abbreviations, air traffic control was at a complete loss. After sending this cryptic message, the plane simply disappeared. 
It wasn't until 51 years later that a pair of climbers on Mount Tupungato in Argentina discovered the remains of a Rolls-Royce engine, fuselage, and strips of bleached clothing. This led to a search that finally recovered the rest of the plane and Captain Cook's body. Yet despite finding the remains, experts still don't know what the word Stendek meant. And while some Morse code experts have predicted that it referred to a different airport with a similar spelling, the reality is the meaning behind the fateful message is still a complete and utter mystery. Number 9. Aer Lingus Flight 712 When a plane gets damaged, it's usually not too hard to figure out the damage's source. However, this was certainly not the case with Aer Lingus Flight 712. On March 28th of 1968, Aer Lingus Flight 712 was flying from London, England to Cork, Ireland, and the plane simply crashed into the sea, killing all those on board. When the plane was recovered, there was some obvious damage on the airplane's left tail, although officials were not able to determine exactly what caused the crash. According to some experts, the crash was likely caused by migrating swans crashing into the tail, as they are known to fly between Ireland and England during the spring. Others have suggested that a mechanical failure on board was to blame, with this being especially plausible since some evidence seems to suggest that the plane may not have been up to date with its maintenance. However, there are some that go as far as to blame a missile or drone strike, as the area where the plane crashed was close to the most advanced missile testing station in Britain. Yet even though national and armchair investigators alike have had 54 years to figure the story out, nobody seems to know what exactly happened to Aer Lingus Flight 712. Number 8. The Lady Be Good Disappearance In war, it's not uncommon for a plane to be shot down, but when a plane completely disappears without a trace, questions are raised. Unfortunately, this is exactly what happened on April 4th of 1943 when a B-24D Liberator bomber, known as Lady Be Good, vanished on its first mission. Flying between Libya and Naples for a scheduled bombing raid, the plane simply disappeared, and at first it was assumed that the plane went down over the Mediterranean. However, no one reported seeing the plane, and no debris was ever found in the water, and the disappearance would remain a complete mystery until 1958. That's because it was in this year that an oil survey exploration crew taking aerial photographs spotted the plane in the Libyan desert, and it was soon determined to be the Lady Be Good. Over the next two years, a lot was found across the desert, and due to the available clues, it was concluded that the crew got lost in a sandstorm, and then bailed out of the plane after running low on fuel. However, despite the finding of diaries made by one of the crew members, some of the facts of the case, such as whether or not they actually bailed or what happened to the airplane's gunner, have never been conclusively solved, and these facts will likely remain a mystery forever. Number 7. Italo Balbo For a period of about 20 years, Mussolini's fascists ruled over Italy, and one of the darlings of the fascist movement was the young Italo Balbo. Serving as the Marshal of the Air Force, Governor General of Libya, and Commander-in-Chief of Italian North Africa at various points in his career, he was often seen as a threat by Mussolini. After all, not only was he an extremely popular political figure, but as a firm opponent of anti-Semitism, he was one of the few leading fascists to denounce Mussolini's alliance with Hitler. And as a result, he was simultaneously seen as both a political liability and the possible successor to Mussolini, should he outlive him. In any case, these tensions likely caused Mussolini to station him in Africa during World War II so he would be as far away from Rome as possible. And it was while flying in the Italian colony of Libya that disaster struck. This is because as he's flying as a passenger on a Savoia Marchetti SM-79 headed for the Libyan airfield of Tobruk, his plane was misidentified as British, causing it to be shot at. This led the plane to being downed and all on board being killed. And while the accident was officially considered to be a friendly fire incident, many believe that it was actually a political assassination ordered by Mussolini himself. However, most experts believe that this is simply a myth, although some conspiracy theorists continue to say otherwise. Of course they do. Number 6. Flight 19 The Bermuda Triangle. It's long been fabled to be a cursed area that brings down planes, and be it the Gulf Stream, violent weather, or methane hydrates, several explanations have been posited as to why the Bermuda Triangle is dangerous. However, the reality is that thousands of planes fly safely through the Bermuda Triangle every year, and according to well-researched reports, it's no more dangerous than anywhere else on Earth. However, this hasn't stopped conspiracy theories from running rampant, and one of these mystery flights that's perhaps the most iconic is Flight 19. 
Supposed to be just a simple training flight, Flight 19 took off from Fort Lauderdale in Florida on December 5th of 1945. It consisted of five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers. These bombers were scheduled to tackle a three-hour exercise known as Navigation Problem Number 1. However, once in flight, the group leader became convinced that his compass was malfunctioning and pointing him in the wrong direction. This led him to inadvertently lead the group into some bad weather. And even after being told over radio what to do to fix his course, he simply ignored the instructions. This inexplicable refusal not to listen to orders ultimately led to all of the planes disappearing, and to this day nobody's ever found the bodies or debris. As a result of these strange circumstances, this event continues to be a mystery to this very day. Number 5. Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 Of all the entries on this list, one of the most recent and most famous is Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Departing on March 8th of 2014 from Kuala Lumpur en route to Beijing, the plane lost contact with air traffic control 38 minutes into the flight while over the South China Sea. However, despite this loss, the Malaysian military was able to continue to monitor it, tracking it as it went westward away from its flight path rather than eastward. Yet after an hour, the military lost track of it as well, and this sparked a multinational search effort. Now, it's more than likely that the flight crashed somewhere in the Indian Ocean due to its strange path, and given the fact that debris from the plane ended up washing up around the world, it's almost certain that the plane wrecked and that all on board were killed. However, exactly what caused the crash is unclear. One of the most prominent theories is that the plane was hijacked by either terrorists or a foreign government, with everything from a jihadist crashing to a landing on a US military base all being suggested as possible locations for the plane. Another, even more common belief is that there was simply some sort of mechanical failure or fire forcing the plane to go off path and causing it to crash without the pilots being able to do anything about it. There are even some that believe that there was a mass crew suicide, leading to the plane simply crashing and being unable to communicate with air traffic control. However, the stark reality is that no one is sure what happened to Flight 370. Number 4. DB Cooper Of all the aircraft disasters on record, few are quite as crazy as the disappearance of DB Cooper. You see, on November 24th of 1971, an unidentified man who now goes by the media epithet of D.B. Cooper hijacked a plane en route to Seattle from Portland. More specifically, the man appeared to be in his mid-40s, and partway into the flight, he took a flight attendant aside, showed her a briefcase filled with wires and red sticks, and commanded her to tell the pilot that he needed $200,000, or about $1.4 million in 2022 dollars, and four parachutes. She did as she was told, and when the flight landed in Seattle, he was given the cash and parachutes. In exchange, he released all of the plane's passengers without blowing up the plane. However, once they all left, he demanded that the plane fly to Mexico City with a fuel stop in Reno, and with four crew members still aboard, the plane took off. Once in flight, Cooper began to prepare to jump out of the plane, and a little after 8 p.m., he did just that, landing somewhere between the two cities. While a detachment of U.S. Air Force planes had followed them, Cooper nonetheless disappeared without a trace, and a giant manhunt began to trace both Cooper and the cash. Since all the cash that had been given to Cooper had the same serial number, the FBI had their work cut out for them. Yet despite this, none of the money was recovered until 1980, when about 5,800 was found along the Columbia River. However, this discovery ultimately did nothing to help find Cooper, and while theories such as an escape abroad or a death upon landing have all been considered, the reality is that to this day, nobody really knows D.B. Cooper's real identity, nor where he is or where his money ended up. Number 3. Egypt Air Flight 990 as far as crashed airplanes go, Egypt Air Flight 990 is fascinating because the two countries are fighting over what exactly happened. The story goes that on Halloween of 1999, Egypt Air Flight 990 was set to fly from Los Angeles to Cairo with a stopover in New York. While the first leg of the flight was flown without a hitch, partway through the journey over the Atlantic, the plane began to descend rapidly, going so fast that it approached the speed of sound. However, despite this fantastically dangerous dive, the plane repositioned itself and began to ascend once more. However, not long into this ascent, it began to descend again, crashing into the water below. This caused all 203 passengers and 14 crew members on board to perish, and given the fact that several high-ranking Egyptian military officers were on board, this soon began to pick up a lot of international attention. 
Due to a lack of resources, Egypt delegated most of the investigative work to the United States, and in this investigation, the United States found that the co-pilot had acted very strangely that day. As while the captain went to the restroom, he got control of the plane and began increasing speed. According to wind flight records, he repeatedly said, I rely on God, when the captain asked him what was going on. And as a result, American authorities believe that the crash was potentially an act of terrorism. However, since Egypt Air was a national airline, these findings were not popular in Egypt, and so the Egyptian government decided to put money into an investigation to create their own take on the situation. According to their investigations, it was not the co-pilot but a mechanical error that caused the crash, as they found that sheared rivets in the elevator control mechanism caused the problem, and that everyone in the cockpit had been working together to regain control up to the time the plane hit the water. Yet, the reality is that it's impossible to know exactly what happened, so this mystery will likely continue to be a point of contention between the two countries. Number 2. Pan Am Flight 7 During its time, Pan Am Flight 7 was one of the most luxurious routes out there. After all, it was a round-the-world flight that had super comfortable bed-sized cabins and essentially acted like a flying cruise ship. Yet it turns out that even on the most extravagant of planes, things can still go terribly wrong. That's because on November 8th of 1957, the plane was completing the first leg of a flight between San Francisco and Honolulu, when it mysteriously disappeared. After a few days, the Navy found the plane at about 1,700 kilometers northeast of Honolulu, and they immediately noted a series of anomalies. It appeared that the plane had sent no distress call, and it hit the water at 145 kilometers north of its intended flight plan, and several bodies on board showed proof of carbon monoxide poisoning. The story became even more mysterious when it turned out that the man responsible for funding the flight had a grudge against the airline, and a few days earlier he had changed his will. If that wasn't strange enough, William Harrison Payne had very shortly before the flight purchased a one-way ticket to Hawaii on Pan Am Flight 7, along with three insurance policies, including one that paid double in the event of accidental death. This was made even more sketchy by the fact that he claimed to be going to Hawaii to collect a debt from an unknown person that was less than the price of the one-way ticket he had paid for, and according to Pan Am, there's a pretty fair chance that despite having a ticket, Payne may not have actually boarded the aircraft. As a result, there's a very real possibility that someone like the plane's financier brought the plane down while Payne took out an insurance policy to make money off the crash allowing both of them to make a large amount of cash and get away with it, since Pan Am evidently didn't properly keep track of who did or didn't get on and off the plane. And while a lot of information seems to point to this story being true, not enough conclusive evidence was dug up, and as a result, the crash of Pan Am Flight 7 continues to be a mystery. Number 1. Amelia Earhart When it comes to early pilots, few are as famous as Amelia Earhart holding many an early aviation record including the distinction of being the first woman to cross the Atlantic and the first woman to receive a distinguished flying cross. She helped propel the onset of commercial aviation to the masses. However, while she was certainly somewhat competent, contrary to popular belief, she was more or less a below-average pilot for the first time, as even in the 1930s there were several female pilots that were more skilled yet less well-known. Yet in spite of this, her husband and publicist marketed her brilliantly, and it was part of these efforts that she set out to become the first woman to circumnavigate the globe. Embarking from Oakland en route westward, the first attempt was aborted early while in Hawaii, as damages to the plane caused a pilot error meant that the plane could not continue forward. However, despite this, a second attempt was made, and starting from Oakland, Earhart instead went east. This time around, she made it safely to Papua New Guinea, but it was after taking off from here en route to Howland Island on July 2nd of 1937 that things took a turn for the worse. This is because while in flight, Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan lost contact with a U.S. Coast Guard cutter and they simply disappeared at sea. While the U.S. government's official stance is that the plane crashed into the ocean, there are several theories that have been made. The first, and perhaps most widespread, is that they ran out of fuel while in flight, forcing them to bail the plane into the ocean, causing both of them to die in the crash. However, given the fact that this would have happened in the middle of the ocean, it's hard to confirm or deny this story. Another theory indicates that they were somehow captured by Japanese forces, and upon their capture, executed. However, once again, it's very hard to confirm or deny this theory. 
However, to date, the most promising theory is that the plane crashed somewhere and caused Earhart to wash up and eventually die on the largely uninhabited island of Nikomororo. And this is because a study seems to have indicated that a skeleton found on the island in 1940 belonged to her. However, previous studies indicated that the skeleton actually belonged to a man, and so despite the new evidence, the ultimate fate of Earhart and Noonan is still unclear. I'll see you next time. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.